Hello everybody, this is Mind and Mike. Welcome to a game called Astroneer. Pretty much in this game, uh, you are exploring planets like the one that you can see down there. Uh, you need to try to survive. And I'll just explain the rest while playing. Uh, so let's start a new game. Those of you that know what this game is already, uh, no, you you can't go, you can't build your way back up to the space station because it no longer exists. It despawns. Uh, I thought that I saw a gateway chamber. Uh, but whatever. I do have to say, uh, I have been playing this game for a long time. So, so this three that you see right here, that's me saying three years, and I would have called it that, uh, but the question marks don't work in titles. So, pretty much, we landed. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this mission log, which, when you complete whatever criteria there is, like, discover a gateway chamber, unpack all that stuff and connect it. Uh, when, when you complete all objectives to that mission, you can collect whatever rewards you get. These, these are tethers. Very, very important. So, you see this line? How I'm no longer connected to it? I'm just gonna drop all that stuff over here, because it's annoying to pick up again. Uh, so, you see this bar? right next to my head. That's my oxygen meter. When it flows, when it goes all the way down, what'll happen is you will start to die. So I'm running out of oxygen. And then once you do run out, you can hear that the music becomes all weird. And then you slow down. I'm trying to sprint. This is as fast as I can move. And then, when you die, you just you, you just fall over. Luckily, there's always more where that came from. And the reason why is actually very interesting. So I'm just gonna do that so then that can despawn because otherwise it won't despawn. Uh, so, let's actually connect this. This is making it so then power works. And, here's how the tethers work. So, this blue cord, it's what gives me oxygen. You saw what happens when you run out of oxygen. You just die. But, this, this blue cord, these tethers, extend that cord. Now, what I would recommend for those of you that have just started Astroneer, you see how like when you walk away it disconnects? When right when it disconnects, place down the tether. That's how you can maximize the distance. Now, I am not using the uh, quick place button uh which on a controller which I'm playing on Xbox uh would be the down button. Instead, I'm using the bumper the bumper because it's connected to my active slot, and that's what this is. It's an active slot. And the nice thing about tethers is that they get rebundled. Okay. So, now what I need to do is I need to collect four compound and four resin and fill up this canister that I just got. So, let's look around. Usually I don't tether over to here. Because there's usually some pretty close stuff. Like, I just saw some resin over there. Perfect. That orange stuff that you see right there. And compound. Nice. Uh, these two items are very... Uh, they, they're very common. And I don't need them. What I do need is all this resin. And it's all gone. Yay! Okay, anyway, this is compound. Com 
compound is probably the most important item in the game, uh, because compound is what compound is what allows you to craft tethers. Now there you go, I have four, and I got an organic. Now before I die, let's run home. And I need to find another resin deposit. That's three. Oopsie. There we go. That's better. Now, I have four compound and four resin and two organic. Just one. Just one organic. Organic will be useful later. For now, though, I just need to survive. Uh. So. Now that I've done both of those, because I filled up the canister while getting the resin, uh, I can grab both of these, and now, I have a platform. With this platform, I need to move my printer. I have this setup that I always use, unless I'm in a canyon, in which case, then I can't use that setup. Uh, but I always have my printers over here, because there are are four types of printers. There's this small printer right here. There's the backpack printer, which can print uh, these things right off of your backpack. I don't have many things, like I went all the way around almost twice because I don't have anything researched right here. We'll get to that later. So, now I need to print a medium printer and make the uh, boost and drill mod one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this platform, place it down, and you can see that, uh, find the perfect angle. You can see that there's an arrow on it. Right, right there. Uh, so I want that arrow to be facing forward. Then I'm gonna put that down, put that there, because then It'll just auto print. It. It'll just auto print that medium printer right onto the platform. And now that that is printed, I can put that right there. Unpack that. Let's lock that in place so then it so then I don't accidentally grab it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this forward slightly. Plug this into that, and then plug that into the into the shelter. Now I have this large platform B, which I make it face this way, and then I'll unpack it. And now what I need to do is I need to I need to either unlock and print this the smelting furnace and refine aluminum. Or, uh, well, there's make those mods, which will give me a soil centrifuge, and let me tell you, a soil centrifuge is really nice, especially when it comes to getting graphite, because graphite is really annoying to find. Uh, this, print, print and connect a small generator. So, you can see how here it says unlock and print, that means that I have to go to here and unlock it like that. So, now... Only now can I actually print that furnace, but because this just says print and connect it, it means that I can just do this, and it's already, it's one of those things that are just automatically researched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that, I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it to be running, uh, and then I'm going to plug this in, right, that, ah, plug it in right here. So. You see how this says produces one unit of power, and this draws one unit of power. So without anything, I can just have the small printer going. But this medium printer, just two units of power per second, which means that in order for it to work full speed, because it'll just work at half speed with half power, uh, this produces two, so I can keep that powered. And I also want to put this here because this is 30 seconds of power. One power. 
So it's like the shelter, except it only lasts for 30 seconds. What I do have now is this battery. And you can see that now the tether cord, now you can see the yellow. That means that it's charging up this battery. But I don't want this battery on me, I want it connected to the shelter. So what's going to happen is I am going to unplug all that, and then fail a lot, plug that in, and plug that in. And now, say that I had this medium printer going, that would take up this power from the shelter, and so what would happen is the power cells would start to put power into here. Alright. And now this will give me two schematics along with another mission. So now, with those schematics, you can see down at the bottom it says researched. What that means is, now if I go to here, because that's where they are, what I just got is the uh, ex power extenders and the splitter. Now I don't have to research those, because those cost 500 and 1000. So, now I don't have to do that. That's why I like schematics. Just like down here, I get a soil centrifuge, and I don't have to unlock a soil centrifuge, which costs 750. And I want to keep as much of that as I can, because stuff get expensive. So, now, let's make a... Because of that, let's make a research chamber, which I need one compound for. Just give me a moment. Alright, now I have enough compound, so let's print that. And you can see that now what's happening is, so if I were to take this off, you can see that the battery is now, uh, it's de being depleted because this draws two and this only produces one. What could happen is I could turn this on and it would start to fill up and that because I'm now producing three power, which is enough to charge that. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put that here, which, because it only produces one power at a time, it won't recharge the battery, unfortunately. Uh, but it does provide a longer amount of power that can help me. Uh, that makes it that, so then this doesn't run out. So if I take this off and I unplug that, you can see... Now, it's going slower, because it's not actually getting enough power. But, now, I have this research chamber, which I'm going to pull out, and now, what I can do is, I can now, let's, let's keep it this way, yeah, uh, what I can do now is, if I plug this in, Now, if I go around and you can s you see that little purple thing up on top of there? If I grab that, this this is a this is a research item compatible with research chamber. If I put this in here, what will happen is uh, well, first you saw that I opened up the panel. That was me turning it on because once you turn it on, it'll just auto-run. You can see that this gives me 500 bytes in 5 minutes and 10 seconds. This is the amount of bytes that you get per minute, and this bar down here, this is 27. This, I believe, is 110. So once this bar fills up and then it goes up to here, then I'll be getting bytes faster. But that's how you get bytes, so then you can unlock stuff can see that number going up, even though it's very, very slow. So, now, I have this stuff. And I have new missions. Take a bite. Gain 2,000 more bites, and here we go, sampling. Find and research samples. Find and scan research samples. Research samples are, let's see, this, right here. This is a research sample. I can just scan that. I don't have to bring it to the chamber. There's also these shells lying around, which will come in handy later. Probably not during this video, maybe the next one. Uh, 
So, if I just scan all these, oh look, another one. I'll probably bring that home. No, I don't have enough time. Ah, oh, perfect. So around the map, there are these ruined sites. Why? Uh, you'll have to find out later. Uh, so, pretty much it's just destroyed Astroneer sites. So, if I bring this over here before I start dying, now what I can do is I can go over here. You saw how I had two? I can grab the second one. And if I put this right here, and I'll, I'll organize this later, uh, because I don't like it being this messy. I can put this here, and now I'm producing five units of power whenever the sun is out. Because this produces four, and this produces one. So, now I have enough to run that. Let's also grab this thing. And then, the reason why I like putting... So, there are two, there are two types of platforms that people use for uh, these large items. You can see how there's four tiers. There's the backpack, meat, small, medium, and large. Uh, this came from the medium printer. Anything that comes from the medium printer ends up being a large item. And that is not, it's not necessarily true for this. The small printer can print either a medium item or a small item, which I call tiers because that's what they are. Tier 1 is anything that can fit on just this one single space. Tier 2, anything that can fit on these two. And then, if I pick this up, that's Tier 3. Because, you see, I can't put this right here. It can only fit right there because that's what's big enough to hold it. So if I go to here, and I go to this platform, there's this platform A, which is like that. And then this platform B, which has these little tier 2 side pieces. With those tier 2 side pieces, I can put the research items on the side, and once this finishes, it will auto be put in there, and it's 133. Okay, not 110, whatever. What I can do now though, because I did those research, now I can have four, three more stacks of tethers. Each tether has, uh, 11. I was right. I, I don't know why I had to count that. Uh, so, now, pretty much I can place 44 tethers, and I don't know why this isn't plugged in still. And you know what? Because I don't really care about this, let me just show you something.